show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, I always introduce the sort of podisodes by saying, well, here we are again. So instead of that, I'm going to explain that I'm not saying that by saying that so hi <laughs> <laughs> here we are again here we are yes here we are again <laughs> how are you sir yeah <clears throat> not too bad i think a little nah, yeah. like like you are at the moment just with with life and work and <laughs> i know from my perspective a little bit of it is ill um uh, just because of yeah the world at the moment <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no, not so. not to not too bad. Plugging away and uh, yeah, looking uh, looking forward to the first Sunday of April. <laughs> Any reason? WrestleMania. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> that could be why. <laughs> I've got to wait a while for anything of mine to actually come to fruition, like probably mid-November. So that's <laughs> no, you've got Detective Pikachu. Oh, to be fair, actually, yeah, I do. That's May, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, May, June time, something like that. That yeah. is going to be rather amazing, I think. Yeah, that genuinely surprised me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when they released... Well, when they said they were going to do it, I thought, well, this game massively bombed. No one liked it. But you've already committed to the film now, so fine. <laughs> oh, was it a game? Yeah, oh, okay. it was a 3DS game. I say massively bombed. It sort of moderately bombed. <laughs> yeah. I did play... You it, mean... Yeah. Do you mean bombed outside of Japan? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> ah, yeah. But then, obviously, they dropped the trailer for Detective Pikachu, and wow, well, there you go. <laughs> the rest is history. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I uh, will yeah, be going to see that. <laughs> take it for what it is, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose it was similar with um, fighting with my family, I suppose, in the same sort of vein if that makes yeah, sense yeah that was that was a weird one that was many 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 months in production and yeah pretty much as soon as they started work on it she ended up retired because of neck injuries so oh. i was like oh okay are they going to cancel it are they going to carry on with it or <laughs> what's going on so and then they plugged it to death and yeah. <laughs> she hasn't really been seen since no <laughs> what the real life person <laughs> yeah yeah oh fair enough yeah kind of disappeared that off was of working, TV I <laughs> mm, feel quite sorry for her to be honest <laughs> she could have stuck around got a bit more recognition well she's still under contract so they're still paying her but they're just not using her on TV anymore <laughs> she'll appear eventually I suppose one day <laughs> yeah yeah I guess so is it the kind of thing they'd do unannounced and she'd just rock up Probably, yeah, but I'm not entirely sure what they can do with her, really, because obviously she can't be physical in any way at all, because yeah. she could be paralysed. Yeah, that so. doesn't sound ideal. <laughs> no, so basically all she can do is turn up, say some words, <laughs> wave at an audience, and then walk off, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that, at least that's something. <laughs> mm. If it happens. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, well. <laughs> but yes, how's the channel been recently? It seems uh, yeah, active. Not, yeah, not too bad. I'm I'm trying to keep to my three a week thing. Um, worked out that the easiest way of switching my weekends over was to make all my Saturday videos come out on Sundays, so that they're okay. Alternate with this, obviously. Yeah. Um, which kind of makes it easier for my brain and probably other people that watch stuff. Um, yeah, wrapping up a playthrough series in the next couple of weeks, and we'll kind of put that to, to bed for a few months before I pick up a third one of the old wrestling gameplay stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got something else that I want to start uh, beginning of April, but I haven't quite finished that yet, so... That's going to be a lot of work, so that is one of those things where I need to kind of do a lot of the uh, kind of work weeks in advance. Right, okay. So that it's done, because if it's one of those, ah, I need to do the video in like two days' time, I won't have enough time to get all of it recorded and edited and and sorted, so. Yeah, that very much makes sense. 
Mm. Oh, well, at least, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's been very much heavily um, uh, sort of game playthrough based recently with your stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and I kind of want to... I've got one gameplay thing that I'm thinking of starting up soon, but I want to kind of do other things away from that, um, just to kind of keep things as varied as possible. I don't want to just become a gameplay channel. Yeah, Um, that makes sense. Yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces, but you've kind of gone a little the other way since you come back, haven't you? Yeah, sort of. various reasons. (laughs) Yeah, well, yeah, like I said last time, I planned the comeback and then they dropped a trailer, so it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did at least get the Get Fact video out there. Hmm. I uh, believe I'm sitting next to a screen at the moment which I can hopefully project the Switch onto, a HD, literally HD monitor. Doesn't look like a computer monitor, so I'm going to try that out. Okay. And if that works, then in that case, I've got a monitor in this new recording room, which I'm in, that I can mm-hmm. use for Switch and record some gameplay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So I can bring the base in here in the Switch, plug it into there, and I've got the laptop here ready to capture it, and it's all ah. sorted then, hopefully. Nice. But then, of course, if it doesn't work, I'll just have to take the laptop back into the other room with the telly and just do it again. But either way... <laughs> Hmm. When I, yeah, enough. when I got laptop back, game capture seemed to be working fine. Hmm. It, it, um, it played up on me once, but that was easily rectified by closing the program and reopening. Oh, okay. Which, yeah, was a fix I didn't have before. Yeah, I'd enough. close it and reopen, and then after five minutes it'd do the same thing. But no, it seems to be all right, touch wood. Oh, okay. So, presumably there was some weird issue with your laptop all along then yeah I, I believe so and also the mix of it being uh windows 10 i think doesn't help <laughs> ah, yeah right. that seems to be a massive red light on lots of discussion forums and things that would explain why i never had issue then yeah apple <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> well whenever this the because i pay for this laptop monthly so whenever that finishes i think i'll move over to apple next fair enough but for now, I have this, and it's working all right. I'm in the new room. I'm yeah. going to decorate it this uh, this weekend, so probably when this is released, I'll still be in a room toiling away trying to make it all lovely. Cool. But for now, yeah, it's it's all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Hmm. Good, but good, yeah, good. there will be gameplay, but like you say, it's steered away from that. It, it, just a little bit, just to discuss the trailer. It makes sense, though. Yeah, I've written it fourteen pages of notes, so it's. Uh, Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Is this fourth video the last? Because obviously we had the third video about the map region this week. Yeah. So is this next video? Is that the last one of this kind of mini yeah, series? Yeah, it will be indeed until they release any right. more footage, and I'll probably. I don't think they're going to release anything major anymore. It will all be little bits no. from now on, so it will be one video's worth of stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the yeah. part four next week will be it. Yeah, part three mm-hmm. was uh, Friday this week, not Wednesday, as I said, but I've done <laughs> I've done um, 12 hours of overtime in three days, Wednesday to Friday, so I'm, I'm very tired on <laughs> throughout this week. I've got it done. Yeah. It's out there. But it yes, uh, yeah, so, it, yeah. Yeah, cool. watch this space for more. I'll go back to my normal plan now. I'll try and get Master Trainer series done, mm-hmm. and we'll be away, and it'll be great. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the um, I believe you're going to be saying something similar to like uh, the trailer I was just talking about, sort of like uh, in terms of advertising. Um, yes, Similar. I suppose in terms of the trailer that you <laughs> are doing a lot of work on, we won't know until the game actually drops, but uh, yeah, yeah there, there seems to have been, especially with, um, like, uh, I know there were mentions, la- was it last year when Spider-Man came out? I can't remember. With that whole puddle gate situation. Oh, I believe, With the yeah. movement of, of puddles and, and changing of assets and things. Yeah. But also more, a lot more recently with uh, Anthem 
about, right, okay. hey, you can do these things in the game and look at all these abilities and you can do this in the game and then people buy the game and you can't do any of that. Yeah. Because they showcase all these lovely things in like um, E3 little 20 minute gameplay things. With the lovely caption of um, uh, not actual game footage. Yeah. On and some adverts. Yeah, exactly. Or you get like you did with Watch Dogs and they go, yeah, this is the actual gameplay and then you get the game and the downgrade is so ridiculous. Yeah. Even on like PC with like ultra um, processors and, and the best graphics cards you can get, you can't make it look as good as what they showed at like an E3 thing for 20 minutes. Yeah. It seems to be kind of happening more and more. Um, it does. I don't really and, understand that because it's like you wouldn't say you were in a restaurant as such, you know, <laughs> and they bought you out this pristine fine steak, mm. and then you know I was like, "Is this what you want?" And you go, "Yeah, I'd love that." And then what they bring out is like a sort of a crisped up burger with no bun, <laughs> and you just yeah. say, "Well, you know, it's it wasn't actual food footage, you know, it was just you know, <laughs> yeah, this, you yeah, know, we, we we thought we'd offer you something." <laughs> It was a visual representation of what that yeah. meal could have been, yeah. but that's not what we're prepared to actually provide for you. The meat comes from the same animal, it's just a different quality. Yeah. If that's a I good mean, enough might, metaphor. It, it might come from the same, the same animal. <laughs> yeah, it depends what you Or it know. might be dog meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to have been like the, the first real kind of thing to really kind of make noise in the gaming world was way back when when no man's sky did it yeah and they said oh yeah you can do this and you can do that and interact in this way and build this and then people got the first build of the game and i was one of those people oh. and you basically all you could do was wander around scan some animals do some mining and then get in a ship <laughs> and fly to another planet and do the same thing again and again yeah um, thankfully they've kind of done a lot of work and the game now actually isn't even vaguely similar I don't think to the, the game that released and the game that exists now is, is much closer to what they actually advertised oh ok um, I think it was just a case of the game being far too big for them Yeah. and obviously the when they were showing it at um, thing, I keep saying E3 but things like that yeah these these kind kind of uh, uh, big gaming conventions where they're showing sort of gameplay and trailer and stuff. They had this closed off thing on their own personal server that wasn't even like a tenth of the size of what the game is gonna be. Yeah. So they were able to control so many of the variables that when they released the game, they were like, "Yeah, we can't actually do that on such a big scale, so we're just not gonna do it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really make sense. No. And it's not even a case of like they're showing you footage of the game when it's like pre rendered. It's just yeah, straight up. Exactly. This isn't what you're going to get, but we're gonna show you it anyway. Yeah, I mean the the closest I can think of with the whole like what you're saying of the pre rendered and we've kind of tweaked it ever so slightly yeah. is like the Spider Man thing where the texture on his suit changed slightly yeah. and the they moved some assets around in some areas of the maps ever so slightly right. so when you compared it screen to screen some things have moved about a bit for presumably for gameplay balancing purposes but ultimately the game was still the game that you saw yeah. and that I can understand because obviously some of these trailers get released 6-12 months before the game does and certain things then change in development but when like going back to Anthem when one of the things shows you kind of collecting certain weapons and then you can equip those things there and then and then when you actually play the game you can't do that you have to go back to the kind of loadout menu screen oh, okay. and spend ages waiting for it to load up oh, and that's, <laughs> that's not yeah. No, no, it just kind of ties your, your hands behind your back and slows the whole process down. And even that as well, the, the kind of loadout 
bits in what they were showing in trailers. They were showing kind of smooth transitions and, and showing kind of the uh, the world around you as it kind of blends into then actual gameplay. And then when you get the game, you just get this boring load menu yeah. still shot of something for about four minutes <laughs> while it's loading. You're like, hmm, not really the same thing. No, <laughs> not in the slightest. Hmm. See, that's sort of where sometimes TV and film can prosper a little. Because at least it's showing real people doing actual things. Yes, I suppose so. To a point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think, it's... yeah, I think sort of exceptions to those are, like, Avengers, where they heavily change certain bits. Like, the trailer for Infinity War showed basically everyone running towards the screen, like, going, ah, you know, <laughs> about to attack. Mm. And then the actual shot, obviously, there was about four or five characters that went in there. Yeah, so I suppose that's that's probably because, for storyline reasons, they don't want to show that yeah, certain exactly. people may not be there or... Yeah. Um, I mean, they um, Konami did that with Phantom Pain. They swapped out certain character models for other characters. Right, okay. So you saw the scene play out in the same way, but with a different character model, so as not to give away big plot elements. Yeah. And that I can kind of understand. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because why would you want to give away huge plot elements? elements but there's a difference between swapping out or adding in a model into a shot than saying hey here's a list of all the features in this game and then you buy the game and here are all those features that actually aren't in the game that we said were in it yeah <laughs> it, it's, it's just yeah yeah, yeah it, there needs to be some form of law not you know, not like a strict law, like you only show the only things you're going to get. But there has to be some sort of leeway, surely. You know, there's got to be something. You would, you would think so, because it is essentially false advertising. And, and you would think that, especially with big features like that, that then you can't have anymore. If, like, they didn't realise that a week before the game was released, they would have worked that out months in advance. Yeah. Surely some kind of press release... Yeah. would be viable to say, look, we, we know we said in July that you could do this, this and this, but it's now October and the game is coming out in December and we literally cannot do this. Yeah. Like, we, we've tried our utmost. It worked in certain circumstances, but generally speaking, when we've play-tested it, it actually breaks the game or yeah. causes major software issues or whatever so therefore that isn't something that we can now deliver on yeah biting off more than they can chew in certain situations yeah yeah rather than keeping their mouth shut and then people buying it and going well i can't do any of that yeah because you've now they've now got players potentially boycotting the game and not playing it yeah see it's like with the like to go back to the whole um uh, not actual game footage sort of thing I don't mind if there's like a pre-movie in the trailer that is absolutely mm. not going to be in a game whatsoever so it is sort of like a trailer anyway Yeah. I don't mind that as such but if a, if a game trailer starts to pretend to do gameplay that it's not offering and knows it's never going to offer like yeah. if it starts showing a, I don't know like a, a battle scenario or something along those lines in a much higher intensity and quality like it would than it would do in the actual game. And it's just got the caption, yeah. not actual game footage. That's when I think it's very much misdirection. Yeah, it kind of shows a Lord of the Rings style huge battle and yeah. all you can do is like 1v1 fights. Yeah, and just jam the A <laughs> button or the, you know, <laughs> yeah. or the X button or whatever. You know, that's, you know, it's... Mm. That's where it would really wind me up, actually. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. Yeah, I, I, as you said, I, th I think there needs to be some kind of rule, restriction, law, yeah. whatever it is. Even even if it is just like before a certain time, you've got to uh, actually make people aware that this isn't now a thing, so that you're not selling it on features that you don't intend to have. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. no, I completely agree. I'm sure... I don't really know anyone that would disagree with that, really. 
<laughs> no. I mean, to very, very briefly link this into a wrestling world, yeah. the Royal Rumble this this year um, was being advertised very heavily that uh, John Cena was going to be appearing, even though they were fully aware that he was going to be away filming. Right. And it kind of got to about a week before when they were... Then they did a kind of injury angle oh, to okay. write him out of the show, but it was reported long before that um, in certain media platforms that he was never going to be there, and they knew that he wasn't going to be there. He knew he was um, kind of contractually obliged to be elsewhere filming, yet it's a way of using a big name to sell a product... Yeah. And then people have already bought tickets or they paid for the pay-per-view. I mean, it doesn't really affect me because I'm on a network subscription anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but say people bought tickets to actually go and see him live and yes. then he's not there. <laughs> yeah, the whole it reason just, they'd yeah. be going. And yeah, no, that's yeah. that's not great, especially if you mm. knew in advance yeah, that he wouldn't exactly. be there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't really know and many then, people that would think that that was a bad idea. No, I'm sure there might be somebody in the comments. <laughs> let us know tell if us there is. Yeah, let tell us, know us otherwise. Is. We won't yeah. say you're it's wrong, okay. but we'll try and tell yeah. you why we are right. <laughs> it's okay to lie to consumers, <laughs> honest. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. and on that note, I've got uh, five thousand pounds reward to the hundredth viewer of my next video. Possibly. Have you? No. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> You yeah. heard it here first. Subject to change, terms and conditions apply. Yeah. Well, you say yeah, subject. That is basically the thing they it's they hide out. behind. They always yeah. they say card subject to change. It's like well, don't like, tell us then. <laughs> yeah, I, that only really works if somebody is injured or yeah. there's like legal reasons why they can't appear. Yeah, absolutely. like they can't get a visa to get into the country or something. Yeah, that's subject to change. Well, tell me what's absolutely confirmed for now. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. leave out the stuff that's could be that's subject to change. <laughs> yes, yeah. actually, leave out yeah. the subject to change material. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh well. There we go. We'll get there eventually, one day, maybe. Maybe. Maybe with we the, yeah. need to go backwards to go forwards. With the way twenty nineteen's going, with making the world a fairer place, or at least attempting <laughs> to in the in the political mm. what's the word um, political correctness of the, every situation. Maybe we'll end up having some sort of law or rule, which <laughs> which is fair yeah. to us, but who knows? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, no, I agree. Cool. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. <laughs> Pass well, that law. <laughs> Two people agree, therefore it's a thing. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to sort of slightly segue against law. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as I've had, obviously, busy times this week, I haven't had much time to research and prepare into something I was talking about. And also, I didn't want to, like, bring another 100% Pokemon conversation because I think my channel and the last podcast have been Pokemoned out of uh, <laughs> out of anything. But, but you yeah. are the, the Pokey Pidge. You yeah. are meant to be. Very, very true. But uh, yeah, I will v slightly veer away, but probably mention <laughs> it at some point. But um, yeah, no, I'll I'll start with basically just asking you a question, which is a very okay. vague and open question, and that okay. is basically yeah, that is basically what is it, it sounds like one of those uh, like <laughs> what were the impacts on the the <laughs> society during World War Two discuss. <laughs> So, well, yeah, sort of. It could be. It could be as serious. <laughs> but basically, yeah, basically what I, what I will ask you, and I'll, of course I'll discuss it as well, but to start off, I'll ask you, what is, a, what do you find appealing about retro games? Because Ooh. you and I both know that they're Ooh. incredible, obviously. <laughs> they, oh, I do, I do do retro yeah. still. Um... <laughs> but why do we like it so much? What? Why? <laughs> I I think a lot of it and publishers seem to be hanging on to this as well at the moment there seems to be a lot of nostalgia yes. with it especially with sort of our generation with the re-release of the Crash games and the Spyro games yeah. and 
um, kind of keeping those franchises like Mario and Zelda going now. Yeah. Sometimes with a bit of a soft reboot um, and kind of harking back to uh, like the older games from the sort of the 80s and the 90s. Right, okay. I, I yeah. definitely think that is an aspect because everyone likes to remember the the halcyon days of, of youth. <laughs> oh, youth. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember when bills weren't a thing. And... Yeah, oh, that, oh, yeah, pocket money. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when Fredos were 10p. <laughs> yeah, and bigger than they are now. Oh, just very, very quickly, slightly off topic. I saw uh, an advert in a, I can't remember what shop it was. Or a point of sale in the shop saying two packs of polos for a pound as a promotional offer. And I just thought, oh, God. Wow. <laughs> no, that's not right. That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> two packs of polos for a pound. Not like 20p a pack like they used to be. Yeah. I remember when they were 19p, I think, at one point. Back in my oh, day. Back in back day. when I was a lad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luxury. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Kids but... these days don't know they're born. <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to live in Chewer Box in Midlock Road. <laughs> oh, but yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yes, I digress. <laughs> so there's, sort of. yeah, there's, yeah, there's no, definitely that element. Yeah. But no, I got, yeah, no, the nostalgia element does add, add a lot into it. It's sort of like fashion. I can't remember the amount of years it is, but every sort of, I don't know, 20, 30 years, the fashion of 20, 30 years ago comes back in again and it just keeps rolling around. And it's... Yeah. It, I, I'm starting to think it's sort of the same with games. And I think at the moment, now that games are getting to such a prominent thing in the market and in the world, pretty much, we're starting to go back to the very first household games and remastering yeah, them. Yeah, Yeah, remaster, re-release, or kind of taking the characters and and giving them as i said a kind of a soft reboot yeah again i mean that there is a there is a thing in marketing where you kind of work out what your target audience is for whatever the product is and say your target audience is 50 yeah the idea behind it certainly within kind of um television advertising is to pick music from when your target audience was about 15 or 16. Yeah. So if we take the 50-year-old, you take music from sort of 35 years ago Yeah. and play on that nostalgia, and they'll immediately have a kind of fondness for whatever you're trying to sell them. Indeed, yeah. No, that does make sense. Because it, it plays into that idea of nostalgia and... The halcyon days of youth. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of similar with uh, with nowadays. With um, I reckon there's a lot of gamers out there who are 30, 40, you know, anywhere around that age who mm. are very serious about it. So the games they played when they were 10 to 15, 16 are being remastered now. Yeah. And it's, it's not even like it's uh, retro games... The stories or anything like that were bad. Nothing like that was bad. Or the worlds created or the, you know, anything like that. All the fantasy lands created, none of it. It is literally just the physical quality of the game visually. Like, it was might have been old 16-bit or 32-bit. It's, it's literally just getting updated quality-wise. Sort of like Spyro, as you can see. It's essentially yeah. the same story, the same... Uh, missions, I'm going to call it, you know, the same tasks, you still go and collect the same things and do the same, you know, the mm-hmm. same world. It is just that they've updated the quality of the graphics. Yeah. Could pe- it seems like people, especially younger players, because they're kind of used to things looking nice and pretty. Yeah. Um, that seems to be something that they're really kind of focused on for some reason. Yeah. Definitely. And I've never really understood why people get so hung up about that yeah I don't like, i'd rather play a game with a well-written story say if it's if it is like a story based kind of game yeah with nice characters that you can kind of see develop um and see how their relationships develop as the game goes the game actually plays nicely rather than oh doesn't it look pretty yeah oh 
by the way, we've kind of got about five hours of game here, and it's the same thing over and over and over again, yeah. but it looks nice. Because <laughs> those sort of games do happen. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, exactly. I think I do think if you just ignore the fact that some games can have a uh, potato quality, I'm going to call it. Mm. If you could ignore that they've got that and just play the game as if it were a game, you will enjoy yourself. Like I always uphold uphold the fact that the Pokémon Red and Blue games were not just iconic at the time because they were, that was huge. Even yeah. now, if you play through it, it's enjoyable. If you forget the fact that it's a tiny handhold, eight bit game, yeah, or even is it eight, even eight? Yeah, yeah, it must be eight. Yeah. I would have thought. Yeah, yeah. If you just ignore that, it's still a good game, and you could still spend ages on it. Like, yeah, you won't complete the mechanics it in a day. are still. <laughs> yeah, the mechanics are still pretty solid for what. Like, let's go. Okay, the catching mechanic is ever so slightly different. Yeah. It's the same game. It is. Yes. It's, it's exactly the same yeah, game. It's like I was trying to explain to you. It's like 5% of it is probably updated stuff. 95% yeah, they, is exactly what you will be familiar with. Yeah. The rival story yeah. is obviously a little bit different. And I quite like the way that they've kind of had the old rival make an appearance. Yeah. yeah to indeed. kind of show the older people of, hey, you remember this guy, yeah. but also to a new player, it's not like they wouldn't even realise that necessarily. Yeah. But they still make sense in the game. Yeah, that's But exactly the right. actual game itself is exactly the same. Yeah. Indeed it is. I mean, it's... Uh, it, obviously, they filled in a few gaps with moves, like where you really didn't have, like, a bug-type move in Red and Blue or, like, a dragon-type move properly... They've obviously filled mm. in a few gaps there, which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. But essentially it's the same game, which is why Red and Blue is still good. It's just... Well, yeah. It, it, it will never yep. stop being good. But if you were to find like an 18-year-old guy and ask him to play this, he might just think, eh. <laughs> yeah, the, it yeah. looks a bit... It. They're all just kind of weird-looking sprites. Yeah. That with, with kind of pixelated look and you have to play it on a really small screen yeah. and they'll probably look at a Game yeah. Boy and go where do I download the apps from and you think no 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 yeah. no <laughs> yeah the, I think that's the thing they'll look at it and go well my phone looks better than this yeah like well of course it does your phone has more processing <laughs> power than this does exactly right <laughs> and it's sort of the same for PS1 games I mean some of those are incredible I mean I personally I really like like uh, Duke Nukem Time to Kill it's not a serious game. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. And I really enjoy it. But obviously his head's, a, you know, like a cube, you know. So <laughs> the guns are just It looks rectangular. like Minecraft. Exactly, yeah. But they had no choice then. No. No. And obviously nowadays you have stuff like Call of Duty and everything like that, which is yeah. what people are familiar with. And they probably wouldn't even go anywhere near an old-style PS1 game of that genre. But no, I because they would, it would look a bit yeah, weird. Yeah, they they would. But I do think people would enjoy them because it's just. To be fair, though, a, a game like Call of Duty probably does heavily rely on graphics to make it better. Mm. Something along those lines. I mean, yeah, I guess it could be. It could be a bit awkward to play if you can't tell what's land or building or yeah. enemy. But they were never. They were never that bad. No. That's what I mean. that, that you couldn't even see, especially if you play it on a small enough TV. I think that's half of the issue as well. Because yeah. I've got that set up here. I have my old TV from my old flat. It used to be our one that we had in our living room. Right. So it's fairly... So I don't know the exact size of it, but it's like minimum 40-inch TV. Yeah. Playing PlayStation 1 games on that... It looks absolutely horrific, yeah. <laughs> like even worse than what you would think it would look like. Yeah. But of course it does, because back when that game was developed, TVs were never that big. No. So you had the old cube piece, like uh, the old cube tellies. I can't remember the name of them. They they've got a name. I can't. Remember. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah, yeah, with the with the deep back to. Yeah, them. that's literally yeah. the TVs you had. <laughs> and they were what twenty five inches. Yeah. The biggest you could get. And about 25 kilos. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. And a really good place to sit if you're a cat. Yeah, because they're nice and warm. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it. Yeah, I might have to invest in one of those telly soon if they're still around because. <laughs> Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. does make the retro games look a lot better, even, you know. It Yeah, it does do, as long as you can get close enough to yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, that's the other thing. Yeah. But How did we uh, ever cope? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. It's even got a video player on it as well. <laughs> you remember, yeah, having to sit close enough to it to see it, but I remember the days of complaining that the controller wire wasn't long enough because I was sitting so far back. <laughs> yeah, controller wire? What's that? <laughs> yeah. What's a controller wire? Where do you where do you charge it? Oh no no no. <laughs> no 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 no! You have to keep it plugged in all the time, <laughs> otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, at least people don't trip over you know controller wires now and pull their consoles off the table and all sorts. Of oh, we've all done that. Oh yes. No, what time. they ha- what they have to deal with now is day one patches. <laughs> yes, very and true. And updates every single time they go to play their game. Yes. Oh yeah, there's a new update because we couldn't be bothered to actually finish building the game. So <laughs> yeah. here's an update. That's where Nintendo prevails. Instead of that, they just do whenever they've done something, they'll go, "Right, we've done this small thing. There you go." And then you try and play the game and it says, there's an update. And you think, oh, God. And then you click fine. And then 30 seconds later, it's already updated, installed, and restarted your console for you. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's always handy. That's why I have the settings on my PS4 to kind of um, scan for updates for the software system for the actual console and games at, like, 4 in the morning. Yeah. So that I know I'm never going to be using it. And... Hopefully, it will at least have um, downloaded those updates, if not necessarily installed them, but at least they're there ready. Yeah. So that the next time I play, I haven't got to wait like two hours before I can actually play the game. Yes. Fallout seventy six with a down <laughs> with an update that was bigger than the actual game when it first came oh, out. It was the same with Red Dead. I think I had to wait three hours for that to finish. Well, to, to, really? Just to finish. God. <laughs> just for yeah. for me to finish the game that they should have done themselves. Yeah, and they came with two. It the came s- with two discs. <laughs> Did Install it? this first, and then put the game disc in. I was like, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh wow! Couldn't you just finished the game. Oh, I'm sure yeah. it did. I'm so Ouch. sure it did. Oh. That's not exactly the same as take cartridge out of box. <laughs> no. Put cartridge in slot in top of console and flick power on. And it will Ta-da! literally play immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> Oh well, I think I'll wrap it up there. I think I've, I think we've made our points clear. <laughs> yeah, I think we've looked at uh, our kind of childhoods in rose-tinted enough glasses. Yes, <laughs> old childhood. Indeed. Whatever. Although what you have done is reminded me that I need to make sure that my snares and my N64 work. That's, that's a good point. <laughs> so I realised I made a big deal of getting an N64 for Christmas yeah. and. I still haven't used the damn thing because it won't play for some reason. That's annoying. I really want to use it. <laughs> well, when we get round to doing the Mario Kart through the years, if it still doesn't work, I've got an N64, so we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be yeah, fine, we'll, everyone. It will happen. <laughs> it will. That will happen, although we might have to forego the first game because I still haven't found it anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Retro games are fun, but expensive. <laughs> They are very expensive. They, Unless you're looking for PlayStation 2 games, yeah. they're really, really, really cheap. Yes. Because the market was saturated with them. <laughs> Retro <laughs> games are £3 or £30. There's no in-between. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, on that note, I think I'll uh, I think I'll call that one a day and yes. start planning part Thank four you. now that I'm not working, well, for the next literally ten hours. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. You plan part four, and I'm planning a, a five things that shouldn't, or five things that weren't in the fighting with my family film that, if they were in that film, would have broken the film. Oh, okay then. Good luck but trying to think a of a title. title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a catchier title. <laughs> plan number one: think of title. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, a list video. So I'll, uh, that's right. I'll look forward to that. Yeah. Lovely. All right then. Well, until two weeks' time. Mm-hmm. Where I'll probably go back to something Pokemon related again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Maybe another little trailer before then, who knows? But yeah, until two weeks' time. Yeah. I shall see you around. Thanks everyone for listening again. No problem. Bye bye, everybody. Goodbye, all. <laughs> <laughs>